Hello to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. If you are new and if you are not, so welcome back. Thank you so, so much to everyone who's been liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So much gratitude towards you guys. Also, thank you to those who have been purchasing private readings from me, candles from my website. If you want to purchase a private reading with me, my website is always in the description box down below for you guys. So we're going to be taking a quick look into your July 2021 in this reading. So I have three decks in front of me. Pile number one is to your left and pile number three is to your right. All the timestamps will be listed in the description box down below for you guys and I will see you at your pile. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is going to be your reading on a peek into your July 2021. You guys chose the Light Sears Tarot deck. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards lay them all out on the table for you and then I'll tell you how I'm going to be reading them today. All right, so we have the Fool. Let's grab one more. All right, I'm being told to lay all of the cards out first then clarify, which I wasn't going to do, but <laughs> All right, so we have the judgment card in reverse. We have the nine of swords. And then we have the nine of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the magician card. I'm going to be clarifying with a different deck. All right, we have the two of water in reverse. We have the devil card in reverse. We have the 10 of air in reverse. And we have the knight of air. And then bottom of the deck, we have temperance. All right, so the overall energy for the month of July for pile number one is you are really trying to manifest balance and stability here into your life. Now, these first two cards here are going to be on your home and family life, these two here. The second set of cards is going to be on your career and finances. All right, so this third set of cards is going to be your love life for my single people out there. And then these last two sets are going to be for the love reading for those of you who are talking to somebody or already in relationships. So we can try to cover everything here. Now, as far as your home life here, we have the Fool and the Two of Cups in reverse. So in the month of July, a lot of you could, or some of you could be looking to actually move locations here with the Fool and the Two of Cups. You could be breaking a lease and going off on a new venture here. Um, but with your home and family life here, I feel like if you've had a disagreement with somebody here, you've been in some sort of conflict with the Two of Cups in reverse, uh, you're going to be turning a new leaf with this person here. You guys are going to be coming together and really finding some common ground in your home life. I feel like it's going to be more stable for you. I feel like it's going to be just a better environment in general with the fool card here and the two of cups i'm going to go ahead and pull in an oracle card for your home life your home and family life here 
for my pile number one for the month of July. All right, and then we have success here for your home and your family life. Abundance at the bottom of the deck. I am a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I want. I desire whatever I desire in the physical reality. So if you guys are planning to move here or trying to come to some sort of, like I said, terms and agreements um, or something like that, that is going to be successful here. So don't you worry with success and abundance. Others of you, like I said, who are having some sort of issues in your household, maybe some disagreements with a family member or somebody you live with, I see you guys really like i said coming together and like squashing the beef right basically <laughs> all right so let's take a look at your career and finances we have the judgment card in reverse and the devil card in reverse some of you guys are moving on from jobs that you don't want to be at right you are switching jobs changing jobs others of you are identifying what bad habits that you have when it comes to your relationship with money and you are breaking those toxic connections to move on to a really um really more abundant successful part of your life here especially with the judgment card in reverse this is some sort of revelation that has not come to for you yet that probably will be coming in the month of July that is gonna have you figure out like I said what's working and what is not working and have you get right on track so if you've been having money issues or something like that you feel like things have not been working out in your favor when it has come to your career your finances your business whatever it is we have protection just know that you are protected we have transformation at the bottom of the deck so some of you guys like i said are leaving jobs others of you are figuring out a better way to do things when it comes to your finances that is going to be leading you to a lot of abundance here so for my business owners who have really not been getting like clients or you know if you've been like missing out on hours at work this is being transformed for you here and don't doubt that you are protected in your endeavor all right so we have love coming up next we have our singles here with this first spread we have the nine of swords and the ten of air in reverse so singles you could be feeling really really lonely right now if you chose this pile with the nine of swords i see that you guys are healing you're doing shadow work okay i feel you i see you so with the month of july i feel like that a lot of you guys are really focusing on yourselves focusing on healing focusing on shadow work you could have just released somebody all right and you could have met this person at work that's coming through for a small few of you but i really feel like you are taking some time to focus on yourself and create boundaries in the month of july as far as your love life i'm gonna pull an oracle card i'm only gonna be pulling one and more than one keeps falling out let's get one oracle card for my singles for the month of july all right so we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring all right we also had heart to heart conversations pop out i put it back in the deck bottom of the deck we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations visualizations help bring you together so i wouldn't be surprised if this pile had just had a heart to heart conversation with somebody who you might have recently let go of who you are healing from either you let go of this person or you are healing a connection between this person all right but with romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring i feel like with this pile you could be like i said doing a lot of shadow work exploring your your own feelings why you felt the way you did about this person you know maybe with like what red flags you ignored or something like that so to speak and really doing a lot of shadow work and this is calling in your soulmate so 
as you love yourself and hear you heal yourself just know that you are calling in the person you are actually supposed to be with some of you could be coming back into reconciliation with somebody here who maybe has had you in your head here with the nine of swords in reverse and you're healing the situation with the ten of swords and you could be maybe talking to somebody who has come back from the past or things along those lines excuse me with romantic feelings and calling in your soulmate let's go ahead and check out for those of you guys who are in a relationship we have the nine of cups and the knight of air in reverse hmm some of you guys should I ruin the surprise? Uh, let's say you're going to be very, very happy here with the Nine of Cups. This is a witch fulfillment card. So if you had been hoping for your relationship to move on to the next level, just say that some of you guys are going to be getting that, especially with the Knight of Air in reverse. This is something that has been delayed for you. So you're finally getting what you want out of this person, out of this relationship. So commitment um, or something along those lines let's go ahead and get an oracle card for you guys for those who are in relationships already or talking to somebody an oracle card <laughs> all right so we have let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally so as you let go of these control issues for those of you who are already in relationships i feel like you are going to be getting exactly what you want you've probably been thinking about this really really heavy whatever you are trying to accomplish with this person whether that be uh marriage or you know a commitment or something along those lines. I feel like once you let this control issue go, this is going to be manifesting for you in the month of July. All right, so I'm gonna grab a couple more Oracle cards for overall energy for the month of July. Hopefully that was not rushed. I wanted to cover all of the bases for you, you know, get all the way in. <laughs> all right, so let's pull couple more oracle cards let's start off with an intuitive card for an overall energy for the month of july for pile number one pile number one Oops. so pile number one there is a lot of balance coming in your life okay the number two 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 is coming out uh you could be seeing a lot of two two twos or something along those lines but a lot of balances a lot of decision a lot of shadow work for some of you is coming in your life is the overall energy for the month of july let's go ahead and grab a couple more oracle cards i'm going to be taking one card from this deck overall energy for the month of july we have message in a bottle so some sort of communication is going to be had in the month of july we have all that glitters at the bottom of the deck so some manifestations are coming in for some of you and some of you are also going to be realizing that what you thought you wanted you might not be good for you right all that glitters isn't always gold right so some sort of revelations are happening, but with a message in a bottle, if you are waiting to get any sort of message, communication, anything along those lines, definitely expect that in the month of July. All right, one more Oracle card for the overall energy. And I'm also being uh, told to tell you that you're gonna be receiving a lot of downloads too for some of you guys. So with a message, it could be a message from your spiritual team, ancestors, angels, spirit guides, whatever you resonate with in the month of July. We have your commitment is being tested. Bottom of the deck, your hard work is paying off. So some of you guys have been working your asses off, especially in your career and your creative projects just know that it is paying off and with your commitment is being tested here if you are triggered in the month of july just know that you are being tested to really raise your vibration and make the best decision for you remember that you guys got abundance as well here so i feel like the month of july is going to be really really good 
in this pile you could have some situations that might test you okay don't give it your energy pile number one we ain't got time for that and just know that overall there is a lot of success abundance and transformation coming your way so i'm gonna leave you guys with that thank you so much for letting me read for you today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time hello to everyone who has chosen pile number two this is going to be a peek into your july 2021 reading you guys chose the cosmic slumber tarot i'm going to go ahead and shuffle and get right into it so i'm going to lay these cards out first okay and then i'll tell y'all how i'm going to be reading them we have the ten of pentacles in reverse as the first card Pile number two. All right, we have the seven of cups. We have the princess of cups. then we have the hierophant okay king of cups at the bottom of the deck so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a different deck we're gonna clarify these cards and then we'll get started my pile one I'm sorry, pal number two. <laughs> Let's see, we have the judgment card. We have the queen of earth. We have the six of earth in reverse. And then we have the king of fire bottom of the deck we have the four of earth in reverse okay so i'm going to tell you how i'm reading these cards so this first set of cards is going to be on your home life where you live um you know just like your home life right <laughs> these second two set of cards is going to be on your career and finance these third set is going to be a love reading it's going to be for those of you who are single and then this second set is going to be another love reading for those who are in relationships or are talking to somebody all right so for your home and family life we have the ten of pentacles in reverse and then we have judgment i'm going to go ahead and pull one more card to clarify this now if you feel like your household has been a little bit upside down lately maybe you guys have been having money problems disagreements i feel like that is going to be balanced out for you here with this judgment card this is a revelation this is a situation ascending to a higher level or something that is uh, better for you and then as I say that we have the two of cups pop out and then we have the six of pentacles you're going to be receiving some sort of help when it comes to your home life it could be in the money aspect it could be coming together with another person who maybe you feel like were you know for some of you maybe is not helping you enough around the household maybe isn't like doing their part or something like that but I am seeing some sort of mending happening in your household here for pile number two with the two of cups, some sort of decision as well, because twos also represent decision. Let's get an Oracle card for the overall energy of July for your home life. But I definitely see if you have not been happy at home, you are going to be much, much happier at home. Pile number two. Some of you guys have some, maybe some roommates or something that you've like been in like a disagreement with or something that is going to be recognized and mended. We have worry here. Some of you guys are worried about it. 
and then we have surrender at the bottom of the deck with worry we have i am learning that worry does not change an outcome so yeah some of you guys could be worried about maybe like money or how the situation is going to play out i feel like you're going to be releasing that and just be in kind of like a hangman energy like let go and let god we have judgment again okay we have i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so i really feel like you're going to be having a much needed conversation with somebody in your household to really find this balance which is going to be leading you out of worry in the month of july now as far as your career and finances we have the seven of cups and the queen of earth i think that your finances and career are going to be popping okay in the month of july we have a lot of abundance on the way for pile number two we have seven of cups you're going to have a lot of options i wouldn't be surprised if you have your own business if you're getting a lot of clients or maybe you are filling out job applic applications and you're getting a lot of opportunities here with the seven of cups and with the seven of cups it's a lot of options too right you're going to have like the pick of the litter i'm hearing and you're going to be very very stable when it comes to your money and finances in the month of july so i wouldn't even worry about it if you were worried but i don't even think you guys were worried you could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i feel like there's going to be a lot of help i feel like there's going to be a lot of abundance and i feel like just the money wise you're going to be feeling really really good okay about your finances in the month of july you'll probably be going out more splurging more spending that coin for my pound number two look take me with y'all where y'all going where y'all going pound number two i want to go <laughs> but for the month of july i really do feel like your finances are going to be taking a turn for the better and i hit uh or i pulled out life purpose all right and then we have fertility which is basically the empress card yeah y'all are having an overflow uh <laughs> take me with you look look at me trying to come up on your blessings let me stop let me stop and just do this reading worry about myself but yeah a lot of you could be working in your life purpose have your own business or just be really really abundant in the month of july when it comes to your work your career so that is an amazing card to get with pile number two and i'm just noticing this tree all right so you're going to be flourishing you're going to be harvesting you are going to be picking the fruit off of this tree and really having a good time in the month of july pile number two so let's move on to love we have the princess of cups and the six of earth in reverse this particular section is for those of you who are watching who are singles all right so i'm getting for my singles here that you could be heartbroken some of you guys could be heartbroken or some of you guys could just be feeling that you have not really had a stable situation in your love life maybe you've lost hope you've been in imbalance giving situations things like that you could currently be in an imbalance giving situation if like you're talking to somebody or maybe you don't trust people here is also what i'm getting um you just feel like you might not find the one because this princess of cups at least when she is reversed i see like a real disappointed like look on her face all right i shuffled a little bit we have the 10 of water in reverse some of you could be going through a breakup or just really feeling like that you will not find your happily ever after in the month of july let's go ahead and pull a clarifier so it seems like some of you guys have a broken heart from something or someone who has hurt your feelings all right we have the mirror in reverse and then the nine of earth so this is definitely you being single here and you feel like you've had a lot of bad luck in your love life i'm hearing like why do i always come across these toxic people why do i always come across these fuck people i heard fuck boys but i'm gonna say fuck people because you know you could be a male watching this i don't know how you identify but it's just like you feel like you are getting like like shitty people basically and you feel like that your life uh or your love life is 
really having a lot of bad luck here but to be honest with you with this nine of earth you're gonna be single in july and you're gonna be loving it you've outgrown this person look at how little he is and look at how big you are here on this card so this is actually having you exit out of this situation or be by yourself because the people or person who you were previously entertaining here um you have outgrown this situation let's go ahead and get an oracle card for my pal number two all right we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going bottom of the deck we have release your ex so yeah i felt that a lot of you are going to be releasing somebody in the month of july who you no longer has have feelings for or it's not working out this could definitely be um hard for you especially with the princess of cups in reverse this is the first kind of taste of heartbreak but remember what i said with this nine of earth this is because you are have outgrown this person and this person cannot provide you with what you need in a relationship so i wouldn't be surprised in the month of august you're going to be probably meeting somebody new but in the month of july for my single people you could definitely be releasing somebody who you have toxic connections with or releasing somebody who does not serve you because you're choosing to move forward now moving on to those of you who are in a relationship we have the hierophant and the king of fire some of y'all getting married some of y'all getting proposed to with the hierophant and the king of fire here you could be a taurus and a fire sign or you could be a taurus dealing with a fire sign or vice versa uh but i feel like your love life is basically like uh gonna be pretty good in the month of july here with the hierophant and the king of fire um it's gonna be really really abundant i feel like you and your partner are gonna be getting closer whoever you're talking to in the month of july um and like i said some of y'all can propose to some of y'all getting married here <laughs> and we have past life relationship popping out you have known each other before bottom of the deck this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so yeah i feel like those of you who are talking to somebody or who are in relationships now are really going to be realizing that this person is the one for you and you probably want to spend the rest of your life with this person but overall energy for the lot for july is the king of cups you could be a water sign definitely doesn't have to be but i feel like it's going to be a really really abundant time for you uh overall pal number two with the king of cups y'all are sitting pretty you see how he just got his feet up and he's just like chilling so even though some of you guys are going to be releasing something even though you guys are going to be having some triggers which is really inevitable here uh you know in life we have triggers i feel like july is going to be a really really good month for this pile overall with the nine of pentacles we have fertility you know y'all career and home life are going to be popping really really good month for pile number two okay let's go ahead and get some oracle cards i'm going to pull an intuitive card for the overall energy for this pile for the month of july all right for my pile number two <laughs> all right so the overall energy for the month of july for this pile is really coming home to self all right some of you guys <laughs> i'm not gonna lie with this card uh yeah some of you guys are gonna be getting committed to somebody else right realizing that this is your person but if this is not you committing to another person this is you committing to yourself in the month of july pound number two i'm gonna go ahead and get one of these oracle cards for you my pile number two all right so we have half faith in your dreams 
all right and so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be having faith not only in your dreams and not only in yourself but the divine i feel like july is going to be a very very good month for pile number two in a lot of aspects some truth is going to come out some things are going to be released in this pile but you are going to be realizing that it is for your highest and greatest good so faith and look at all this purple here Got all this purple this is i think like crown chakra third eye chakra correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section down below but you're really going to be having faith in the divine spirit the universe whatever you believe in that your life is going in the right direction in the month of july so spirituality is also going to be big in this pile which is also why we have surrender here at the bottom of the deck you are going to be surrendering to the divine and just knowing that everything is working out in your favor pile number two i just dropped a whole bunch of cards let me pick those up all right one last card for pile number two for their month of july 2021 all right and then we have a change in the wind and we have between worlds at the bottom of the deck yeah some of you guys are going to be making a decision to move forward and really trust spirit god the universe whatever you believe in like i said and have faith that you have better things coming to you so expect a lot of change in july um it's going to be a really really fun <laughs> it's going to be a really really fun time in july i don't think that you're going to be triggered too too bad some of you might be a little bit heartbroken if you have to leave somebody behind but overall for the month of july i feel like you guys are going to be very very abundant you're going to be in your element you guys money is going to be popping and you are I'm really just going to be feeling yourself in July pile number two. So I'm going to end your reading here. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number three. This is going to be your reading on your month of July 2021. You guys chose the Tattoo Tarot. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to shuffle these cards, lay them out, and let you know how I am reading them today. All right, so for pile number three, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Temperance card. We have the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the Knave of Coins in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and clarify these cards with a different tarot deck. My pile number three. We have, oh, I pulled two cards. We ain't even doing it. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So we have the five of air. We have the magician. Okay. All right. So we have the six of air in reverse and then we have the knave of earth bottom of the deck we have the seven of earth in or seven of earth upright all right so these first two cards here are going to be on your home and family life the second set of cards is going to be on your career and finances 
the third set here is going to be love messages for my singles and then this fourth set is going to be love messages for those who are in committed relationships so let's go ahead and get started with your yo y'all got a lot of energy just it just came bursting through in this pile y'all could be like really upbeat right now or just like bouncing off the walls because i feel like bubbly as fuck <laughs> so this is amazing energy i am loving it pile number three so with your home and fam family life, we have the six of swords and the five of air here. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this. Man, I feel like with all three piles, it's been very similar with home life. Like if you've been having some issues or conflict with somebody here, some of y'all could be moving here with the six of swords too. You could be trying to like manifest like a new apartment or something like that or a new house uh, that is coming through for you. But anything that has been happening like in the home, any di disagreements, with family members and I say that here we have the five of air you see how this hand is reaching out for this woman I feel like you have been maybe in an argument with somebody who was not willing to see things from your point of view here that is going to be coming to an end you guys are going to be moving forward from that situation or some of you who are not um some of you who are not happy with your living situation, let's say you have a roommate or something like that, uh, one of y'all are, are, is going to be moving out. Like, if you guys are not going to be, like, coming to terms here, yeah, we have two of air in reverse. Some of you guys are going to be making a decision to exit this situation. But for most of you, this is going to be the situation being balanced out as far as your living situation. I'm being told to pull two of these cards, one for each. Uh, those who are going to be or those who can't come to an agreement and those who can because uh, I feel like with this pile it's pretty split so we're going to start off with the first one for those who can't come to the agreement with their living situation we have surrender I can release my need to control yeah y'all are uh, exiting stage left you probably and then we have denial I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness yeah, so you have somebody who you are staying with who refuses to see things from your point of view and you're just like, nah, fuck that. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> so you're just giving up on really trying to make it work with this person, basically releasing a toxic situation, something that does not serve you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a person that you are currently living with. It could just be an apartment in general, right? Maybe you don't like where you live. Maybe you've been asking for renovations or something that I'm hearing and finally you're just like nah like I give up I don't want to live here anymore and you guys are going to be moving or surrendering your apartment rather so for those of you who are finding some sort of balance with your living situation or those that you live with let's go ahead and pull an oracle card for you guys all right so we have forgiveness it came up in the reverse I'm being told to Put it upright i'm going to read it upright and reverse for you bottom of the deck we have success so yeah you're going to be finding a lot of balance and success with those in your household who like i said um with forgiveness in reverse maybe wasn't willing to see like your point of view at first um it says i acknowledge the harboring resentment blocks and the flow of love so i'm really feeling like a conversation is going to be had with those who you live with to create some sort of success and balance in your living situation and look we have relationships right under that so this relationship with this per person or people who you live with is going to be mended here so let's go ahead and move on to your career and finances pile number three we have temperance and the magician uh-huh what are you manifesting pal three what are you doing with temperance and the magician popping out what y'all working on you see this woman she is working on this like dinosaur y'all are building like generational wealth your finances are going to be very very balanced in the month of july okay like something is coming in for you here in the month of july all right i feel it all right, some of you guys are business owners with the magician here. Some of you guys can be doing some spells, literally, or something like that to manifest abundance into your life. But expect big, big things, pile number three, in the month of July. Yo, I like you guys. <laughs> I like this energy, just like this channeling. Um, 
I don't mean to get all like weird and stuff, but it just feels good. The energy that I'm channeling was pile number three. Not to say that the other piles didn't feel good, but this is just like, I feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say happiness, I picked up a card off the floor. It was this one. It was home. So some of you guys could be manifesting home. But at the bottom of the deck, it was happiness. So yeah, y'all are really bubbly and really, really happy people in general. Pile number three. What a pleasure it is to channel this energy. All right. So let's go ahead and get an oracle card for your finances and career in the month of July. All right, we have clarity popping out for my pile number three. So any sort of information that you were waiting on, anything like that is coming through for you. And there's gonna be a lot of balance in your finances. You are manifesting a result and answer and clarity in your finances. Let's go ahead and move on to love for my pile number three. This first section is going to be for the singles here. We have the queen of cups and we have the six of air in reverse. Some of you guys have a love interest coming in a new one. Others of you, this is going to be an ex or somebody who you've known from a past relationship coming back that you are in separation from is going to be coming and speaking to you. They could be a water sign, definitely does not have to be. But you guys are getting some sort of romantic love offer here, pile number three for my singles. And then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So that is just saying that, like I said, some of you guys are going to be getting a call, a text from a past person who wants forgiveness from you, who wants to reconcile with you. Um, but for some of you guys, I'm really feeling like this is new energy. I'm going to pull another Oracle card for this deck or for this pile. All right, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So a lot of you guys who have somebody new coming in, you are going to be dating, giving this relationship a chance, all of that good stuff. We also have codependency at the bottom of the deck. So uh, for, and then we have reconciliation when I split the deck. So yeah, somebody is coming back for a lot of you in pile number three. But for those who, this is a new person, I am getting the sense that you could have known this person in a past life with reconciliation and you are going to be coming into union. So let's move on to those who are already in relationships here with the nine of swords in reverse and the knave of earth. If you have been having any issues in your relationship here with your partner, don't even worry about it. All right, with the knave of earth in reverse, I feel like you guys are going to be slowly but steadily working things out with the nine of swords in reverse. It really does um, represent a time of conflict, a time of worry that you are coming out of here. Pile number three. So if you've been having like an argument with your significant other, maybe they haven't been paying attention to you, whatever it is, I wouldn't worry about it. With the Knave of Earth, they are definitely going to be trying to work on it with you. Let's go ahead and get you guys an Oracle card. So we have Attraction and then we have Reconciliation. All right, so yeah. You guys are definitely going to be working on your relationship and I feel like coming back together. So if you are in separation from this person, uh, they are going to be reaching out to you and you guys are going to reconcile. But if not, if you just have not been seeing eye to eye, I feel like you guys are going to be working through this. So we have the knave of coins and the nine of air in reverse at the bottom of the deck for this pile. I really feel like the time of struggle is over. We got the devil in reverse as well and the two of swords. You guys have made a decision in your life to move forward. Um, I'm hearing getting rid of that lack mindset. All right, so this is what is going to be causing your abundance to effortlessly flow to you, pile number three. All right, because I feel like you guys could have been having some issues maybe in the past months and things are finally going to be starting to go in your favor. We're going to get an intuitive card as like an overall energy. 
for pile number three. <laughs> Stability is coming your way, pile number three. So that is the overall energy for the month of July for you guys. I don't know why I picked up this deck. So that's not the one I wanted to use. All right, so let's get another Oracle card for my pile number three. We have here and now. You guys are going to be being more present and in the present moment. I'm gonna pull one more of these cards. I'm having the urge to pull another one for this pile. So you guys are really going to, like I said, be in the present, not worrying about the future or not worrying about the past. And it's gonna be really <laughs> um, feeling very, very good for a lot of you. It's going to be feeling very refreshing, I'm hearing, to not have to worry. And then we have higher power coming out. Bottom of the deck, we have a leg up. You guys got some good luck coming, pile number three. You are being blessed. Y'all could be intuitive if you chose this pile too, especially with higher power coming through. But just know that you are about to be blessed in the month of July, pile number three. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pull two of these cards just for like symmetry. Yeah. <laughs> for my pile number three. All right. We have nothing is yet set in stone. And I'm going to take one more. Something flipped over. Oh, no. We have two cards that flipped over. Um, so I'm going to keep shuffling. So I'm only going to take one more. my pile number three for the month of July all right and then we have luck is on your side bottom of the deck a fiery climax approaches it's about to turn up pile number three and I'm so happy for you guys a lot of good luck a lot of prosperity is on the way to you with nothing is yet set in stone just know that you are the creator of your own reality here pile number three y'all have such such good energy and you guys have a lot of blessings coming your way in the month of july so i'm gonna go ahead and end your reading here thank you so much for letting me read for you today hopefully you resonated with it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys next time